In this video, I will show you how to buy Bitcoin on Cash App and send to another wallet in 2024. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, download Cash App onto your device. Now, if you're doing this via a PC, then what's going to happen? You want to come across to the website, which is cash.app. And from here, what you can do is open up your camera on your mobile device and scan the QR code to download the app. Alternatively, what you can do on your mobile device is open up a new mobile browser, come across to cash.app, and you will see the option here to download it directly onto your device. So once you've downloaded Cash App, what you're gonna to want to do is open this on your device, and the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and create your account. So the first thing you're going to do is enter your phone or email address, and after doing that, it's gonna ask you to add a bank using your debit card. If you don't have a debit card, what you can do is simply press the skip button and basically when you go ahead and make a transaction, it's going to allow you to link your bank account instead of your debit card. So if you choose to link your bank account, as you can see, Cash App uses something called Plaid to link your bank account. And by linking your bank, Plaid will have access to your login details and data collected from your account and will, of course, share your data with Cash App for reasons, which include transferring money between your bank account and Cash App, making sure you have enough money to complete transactions and, of course, to help prevent fraud. So at this point, you can choose whether to link your debit card or bank account. And once that's done, what you're now going to do is verify your identity with a photo of your ID and face. So what they're going to do is use your phone camera and you can use this to take a photo of your ID like a driver's license or passport. And you also need to do a selfie so they can verify your identity. So dependent on the country will depend on the type of ID you can use. So for example, it could be like a driver's license, a passport, a state ID or permanent residence card. And after that step, you just need to take a photo of yourself and your photo and ID, of course, have to match for them to verify your identity. Once that's done, they're going to ask a couple of questions. So the first one is going to be about your income. So what's the main source of your income? So you're going to have some options here and you just want to select the one that's most appropriate for you. Then you need to describe your current work situation, whether you're employed, self-employed or unemployed or any of these options here. And once your account has been verified, what you can then do is deposit cash into your Cash App account. So it's going to take you to a screen like this where you can deposit an amount of cash. As you can see, there are some pre-selected amounts, but you can just click the three dots if you want to add a different amount. So once your account is all set up, verified, and you've deposited some cash into your Cash App account, what you can then do is go ahead and purchase Bitcoin by clicking onto the Bitcoin tile from the money screen. So that's going to bring up a screen like this, and all you want to do is press the blue buy Bitcoin button. Next, what you need to do is put the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. And finally, it's going to take you to the confirmation screen, which is going to give you details about your purchase of Bitcoin. So in this example, we're purchasing $50 worth of Bitcoin. So it's going to give you details like, for example, the exchange rate, any fees and the total cost. And then you would just press confirm. And then what it's going to do is ask you to confirm your ID with your PIN number or if you've set up like biometrics, so using like fingerprint or facial recognition, then it will verify it that way and go ahead and authorize your your purchase of Bitcoin. So once you've gone ahead and purchased your Bitcoin to go ahead and send this to another wallet, what you're going to want to do is come to the home screen and press onto the money icon down in the bottom left hand corner. So that's going to take you to your money screen and from here you just want to select Bitcoin. Next what you want to do is tap the send receive button which is this little button down here which looks like an arrow. What's going to happen is going to come up with a pop-up menu and from here you'll just go into one to select send Bitcoin. So next you just want to go ahead and select how much Bitcoin you want to send to another wallet and then go ahead and press send at the bottom. Now it's going to take you to a screen like this and in here you want to put the Bitcoin wallet address. So that's going to be a long series of sort numbers and letters. So you want to make sure that you copy this correctly so it does get sent to the correct wallet and then go ahead and press next in the top right hand corner. On the next screen, it's going to select, it's going to ask you to select your withdrawal speed. So you can just do standard or rush or priority. And as you can see, there are different time scales for how long it's going to take to send through. If you choose to do this via priority or rush, there are fees involved. 
which will be noted underneath each option. So go ahead and select your option and then go ahead and click next at the bottom. So next it's going to take you across to the confirmation screen. Now it's going to give you details of all the transactions. So for example, how much has been sent across, roughly when it's going to arrive. So in this example, we've just selected standard for the withdrawal method. So you can see there's currently no fees for sending it via the standard method, but if you were to select priority or rush, there would of course be fees which would be listed here. So once you're happy with everything, just go ahead and press confirm and send at the bottom. And then what it's going to do is ask you to enter your cash pin to authorize the transaction. And finally, you're going to get a confirmation saying about your withdrawal and how much the withdrawal is for. So that's all ready to go. So all you need to do now is press done and then just wait for the Bitcoin to be sent to your external wallet. So that is how to go ahead and buy Bitcoin on Cash App and also send it to another wallet in 2024. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.